Hello, welcome back. I'm right where I was before. Um, I think I heard a zombie knocking on my door. But maybe not. Oh, maybe it was a drowned. Uh, in the first episode, we did beginning Minecraft things. We started from the very beginning of the world. We edited nothing, so I could show you step by step how to work with the seed that is the basement. And uh, yeah, we dug down into the earth and uh, found some good stuff. But we're also we're going to make another stone pickaxe here. This works because we have two sticks and three cobblestone. Oh, look at this. Someone's knocking on our door. This can happen in the hard difficulty. A zombie or a drowned can break down your door. I don't know if it happens in other difficulty levels. Okay, so you can see that the durability on this pickaxe is almost gone. And this one is fresh. So we're gonna use the fresh one. And once it gets low, we can actually combine those two in a crafting interface. And not only do, does it add the durability of the two used pickaxes up, but it adds a 5% bonus. And that's not 5% bonus to the remaining durability of your particular um, stuff, but it's 5% overall of a brand new. Now, you may have noticed that block fell. None of the other blocks fall, really, but gravel does. Gravel is best taken care of with a shovel. And there we go. Um, that was easy. That was just one gravel at a time. Sometimes gravel comes in... Uh, large veins and you have to be careful with that now because we did get a bunch of coal in right at the end of the last episode i'm going to use some of that to make um some more torches because we're very low so uh by using the y button i can grab half of anything that i have highlighted and that is handy because then it keeps the other half in the spot that I have it in my inventory and I like coal here sticks here and torches here and here um, these spots tend to vary uh, but usually there's food here and usually there's some sort of block here and then these tools are usually always where they are right there so if you're looking for a setup that works for someone uh, this setup works for me oh look at this we have iron that is iron ore and unlike coal when we mine it we don't get iron but we get iron ore so this is going to have to be put into a furnace to smelt up so that we can actually get usable pieces of iron and iron isn't a very exciting it is a very exciting uh, material to have because it opens up all sorts of wonderful things all right let's put those back and since we still have plenty of durability on our stone pickaxe, let us continue. And what on earth did we find here? Well, sometimes when you're digging down, it won't just be solid stone, uh, but you'll run into uh, a cave, or in this case, an underground ravine. And in this very special case, we have an abandoned mine shaft, which is why you see those tracks and that wood and those uh, spider webs there. So that's quite exciting. Um, hmm. So we could just continue our downward progress this way, and that would probably be fine. However, since our um, Z coordinate, which is the third coordinate in the upper left hand corner, has hit zero, I'd kind of like to turn. I like to use those numbers as something that I can always rely on to find my way home. And uh, zero is just a handy number, believe it or not. Um, so we'll turn on zero and we'll follow that and we'll know that if we can find z equals zero somewhere near our base, that we will be near a path or a staircase that will bring us back home. And look, we found more iron. Now I do want to explore, and more coal, I do want to explore that... Um, abandoned mine shaft the place where you saw the little railroad tracks and the and the wood and the cobwebs um, but i don't think we're quite ready for that uh, so that will be a future episode so what we're doing right now instead is we're harvesting some iron and some coal and we're also figuring out what we've got uh, because this is right a staircase that goes straight up into our little base or a little room that we carved out on the side of that hill 
Now in the early game, you wanna grab all of the coal and the iron that you can, and you just heard a special little jingly noise. That is um, us hitting experience level five, which is the green five. Boy, that is kind of a dangerous thing, isn't it? Uh, and experience levels are something that we will talk about, but we're not quite ready for that either. Okay, let's grab the rest of this iron. Actually, I'll show you how to combine these stone pickaxes. If you put one up here in your crafting interface, and this will work in a two by two or a three by three, um, you can combine two used stone pickaxes into one uh, and get the durability of both added up together. And like I mentioned, a 5% durability bonus. All right, so this is the end of the line for now. Uh, we do have deeper to go still, but in the meantime, I'm gonna put a little safety wall here so we can't fall. Uh, I am also interested in grabbing this iron. Now see that, that's lava. That's a natural light source and it will heat you up considerably and quite rapidly. Um, in fact, you'll, your body will absorb so much energy that it will suffer damage and uh, you will quickly perish if you are not careful. So we're gonna stay away from that for now. We're gonna hop and bonk our head all the way up the staircase here to get back home and to put some of this iron into a furnace and to check on uh, how things are going outside because right now we don't have a bed so we can't force nighttime to turn into day anytime we want. So we have to take advantage of when the natural day is and I'm guessing it's daytime. So let's throw our 25 iron into there and three coal will cook um, 24 iron. So let's put our wooden pickaxe in there as fuel first and that will cook one of the ore. And yes, see, it is daytime and our crops are maturing. And I see some squid down there, which is nice. Just checking around to make sure there wasn't anything scary. Okay, uh, so there's one iron, iron ingot cooked. So these three coal will take care of the rest of the 24 because we know that those cook one at a time. And something we should do while we're in here is in fact, um, make eight planks and then use those eight planks to make not a furnace but as you see there a chest what the chest will allow us to do is get some stuff out of our inventory without losing it uh yeah so we can stick our half of our wood in there and a bunch of this other stuff in there so that we have more room in our inventory now Looking at these crops, you can see that this one is yellow and tall and it's mature. So we're gonna punch this one. And you see down here in our uh, hotbar, we have wheat and we have three seeds. So we're gonna replant one seed there and then plant two more here and here. And put down an additional torch and wonder what in the world this guy is. This guy is a wandering villager, a trader, with a couple of llamas or alpaca or whatever those are. And uh, there's a bat out in the daytime. I'm not sure why that bat is there. And I heard it drowned. Uh, we're gonna ignore them for now, but we are. what we are gonna do is we're gonna take this wheat and see if we can't um, lure some animals to our base. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna dig a couple of three by three holes and uh, we can't jump out of a too deep hole without help. So I'm gonna leave that block there for now. And then actually, you know what I should do is uh, we should make some planks here. And uh, let's see, 12 of them will give us four trap doors because it takes six to make each pair of trap doors. Whoops. And what, the reason we dug these holes is they're going to be um, animal pens for us. Uh, and a quick way to get out is to set this here on the bottom side of the top block rather than on the top side of the bottom block, not like that. And the animals cannot jump onto this, but we can. And then we can use that to get out like this. So this is going to be an animal pen. And uh, we'll put another one under this tree too. We'll have to chop the tree down first though. Uh, but let us go do a little bit of exploring. We should keep our sword on us just in case we run into a zombie or something else terrible. But what I'd like to see is uh, sheep 
or cows or even pigs at this point. Pigs are not as useful, especially in the early game. Uh, okay, we have a, ourselves a little bit of a ravine here, but that's no problem. Look at this natural cave. That looks like fun. Ooh, it's a spider. Oh, how creepy. And a creeper. Okay, spiders are not so bad, although they can climb. Creepers can't climb, which is helpful. Uh, but they blow up. See how he flashes white there, and then he, and then he bursts, breaks all those blocks. It's quite a frightening thing. Okay, um, here is a nice open space, and I'm thinking we'll probably build a proper house out in this area eventually. I see a horse and a pig. Oh, we are going to kill this pig because we need his meat. We need to eat it. Sorry, pig. Uh, we're not going to kill the horse. The horses don't drop meat, and they make really sad noise when you hit them with the sword. A cow! Two cows! All right, we're going to hold the wheat in our hand, and the cows are going to be very interested in our wheat. You can see that they love us now, and they just want to be our friends forever. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk, not run, slowly back toward our base, because cows are not as fast as you when you're running. And if you get too far away from them with the wheat that they want, they will lose interest. Look, there's a third cow. It's amazing. Okay, I'm going to use this wheat to dig here so that the cows can make it up, because they can only jump one block. Come in, you dorks. Let's go. Yeah, sometimes they will fight over who gets to go first and then no one gets to go. Okay, so we've got ourselves three cows and we're gonna go put them in our animal pen. And cows are the most useful animal in my opinion, although you can't make a bed out of a cow hide. You do need sheep's wool for that. And a bed is kind of our first priority right now. Uh, where are we? I'm trying to get back to where we were. It, come on, cows. Let's go. It's not hard. <clears throat> um, and you can use your coordinates to sort of keep track of where your home is. I find that to be handy. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, in you go, guys. Oh, look, we got four. That's incredible. Okay, now they're all in here and they want out, but they can't figure out how to get out because that trapdoor doesn't help them. And here we see more of our wheat has matured. So let's uh, have an open spot in our hotbar here and then we can punch this wheat. And look, see, we get wheat and seeds. So sometimes you get zero seeds, sometimes you get more than one, but you always get one wheat if it's mature. Look, that time we got two seeds. So we're gonna plant another one right here Make sure that that is well lit for future seeds. And with these four wheat, we can feed these four cows. And watch what happens when I feed two cows. Oh, I'm very excited for this. In fact, we're going to expand our cow pen right away to give these guys all the room they need. Okay, let's feed one and two. And you can see the little hearts going. And they get together. And then <gasps> the miracle of life. A little baby cow. <laughs> Look at that little guy. Um, so we can feed the other two adults as well. And uh, they will make another little baby cow. Uh, how great is that? Look, and it's already getting dark. I wish I'd found some sheep. I wish I'd gotten some wool. But I didn't. So we're going to have to go back into the mines for night two. That's okay, though. Here's all of our iron. Um, you get experience when you take things out of the furnace like that. And we're going to stick uh, that pork chop in there. And uh, hmm, we could use some more wood. But now it's nighttime and it's scary. I do. You do want to stay on top of your farm early in the game, though. So let's go ahead, since this one's mature, let's go ahead and grab it and plant a couple more seeds. The cows are going to be excellent, though. They'll be a good food source. Okay, so we haven't had anything to eat yet in the game, but that's all right. Let's put our one wheat away. And we're going to use this iron to make some things now, some things that are important. So uh, one thing that we can make is a chest plate. See that there? Uh, that is armor. That will inc increase our defense. Uh, we're also going to make a bucket. 
See that? That will be helpful as well. We're going to make a pair of shears. That is also helpful. And we're going to make um, with some planks here. We're going to draw like a American football field goal post there. And uh, we're going to stick a piece of iron in it. And that will make us a shield. Uh, and then let's see, with 11 left, I suppose we want a pickaxe made out of iron. Because iron pickaxes can do things that stone pickaxes cannot. And then we're left with 8. I suppose we could make leggings. Those cost 7. Or we could make a helmet. Those cost 5. Yeah, I kind of like that idea. And then it leaves us enough iron to make another pickaxe if we need it. Okay, so here's our character here. I'm going to use this. And look, now I'm wearing it. And I can do the same with my helmet as well. And now I have uh, some armor on, which is a good thing. Let's stick this here at the ready. Let's put the other three uh, here in case we need them. Let's grab some of the extra cobblestone. And let's fill our bucket with water. Sword in hand. We seem to be safe. Look, you can put water in your bucket. How great is that? Uh, you know it would be smart now that we have extra torches. It's just to add a little extra light. Those bad guys can't spawn when it's light. So they require dark. Oh, look at those little green feet hiding there. We've got a creeper. He wants to blow us up. They lose interest very quick. If they don't see you, they forget that you exist. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hide and then strike and hide and strike and take this guy out, though, because we are not interested in any of the things that he is offering. And let's see, one more wheat here and two additional seeds. So the shears are useful for getting wool off of sheep. Uh, which we can then use to make beds without killing the sheep, which is nice. So we're going to have to look for some sheep when the sun comes up. Um, but for now, I think we're going to have to do more mining. And you'll have to join me in the next episode for that. So I uh, hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you're enjoying Minecraft, and I'll see you all soon.